Machine learning and deep learning are constantly evolving. Every couple of weeks there can be a new paper with a new breakthrough idea. That's why it's super important to keep up with all the latest changes. And one great way to do this is by following blog posts. So in this video we've compiled the top five machine learning blocks that our team at Assembly AI likes to follow. These blocks are also great for beginners because some of them also offer a lot of foundational content. So this list is not exhaustive and I would be very happy if you leave a comment and let us know what's your favorite machine learning block. And now without further ado, let's get started. The Still is an online research journal that presents itself as an alternative to academic publications. It's made by many of the world's most famous AI researchers. The content on the website is sorted by peer-reviewed, threat, commentary and editorial depending on your interest. Its peer-reviewed articles are registered with the Library of Congress and Crossref and appear in Google Scholar. And what makes Distill particularly unique is its use of interactive media to distill the latest findings in machine learning. One cool article you can check out for example is the Understanding Convolutions on Graphs article. Machine learning mastery is less suited to read about the latest academic research, but it offers a lot of practical hands-on tutorials aimed at developers. It was founded by Jason Brownlee, who holds a PhD in artificial intelligence, but blog posts are also written by many guest authors. The topics include machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, time series, NLP, LSTMs, algorithms, Python, imbalance learning, data preparation, and much more. MLCMU is a dedicated machine learning block from the Carnegie Mellon University. The goal of the block is to provide content that is accessible to a diverse audience from the general public to advanced researchers. They provide bi-weekly publications that are written by CMU students, postdocs and faculty and often include findings from academic research performed at the university. The Neptune block was created for research and production teams that need to run frequent experiments. In addition to the block content, Neptune provides a tool that helps developers perform experiment tracking and model registry. So the block also has a focus on these areas. It offers a lot of insightful information across machine learning, experiment tracking, model management, ML ops and ML tools. This one might surprise you because it's not really a blog and it's also not really specific to machine learning only. Hacker News, which is run by Y Combinator, is a social website a bit similar to Reddit. While it's not an exclusive machine learning resource, Hacker News still houses a lot of great machine learning content for users to sift through. Other users can upvote content and comment to rank articles and increase visibility or simply use the search function to search for particular machine learning content. So this can indeed be used to find trending new machine learning articles. Now we are already done with the five blocks I mentioned, but there's one more site which is my personal favorite. Papers with Code allows you to search through trending ML topics and then can see the paper plus the corresponding open source code on GitHub. This is just awesome to fully understand the topic, play around and test the code for yourself and even build your own projects on top of it. You can also click on this browse through state of the art and then find papers with the best benchmarks in the chosen category. Papers with Code is a self-contained team within Facebook or now Meta. All content on this website is openly licensed under this license which is by the way the same that Wikipedia uses and everyone can contribute. Now before I let you go there's one more honorable mention that I'd like to show you and this is our very own assembly AI blog where we produce weekly content for you. Our blog posts can be paper reviews of state-of-the-art NLP papers, fun coding projects or extensive guides and machine learning tutorials for a broader audience. So go and check it out and as always if you enjoyed this video then please leave us a thumbs up and then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!